Hey, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to show you today how to do a break-even analysis chart in Microsoft Excel. This was a question from one of my MBA students. And let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you the end result first, and then we're going to walk backwards through it. So the red line are my expenses. So my expenses are higher than the green line, which is my revenue. Here's my legend right here. So right here is where we actually break even at 50 units, which is down below. And here's where we're making profit. So if by chance our fixed expenses, 2000, was only 1500, you can see we quickly get profitable with 37 and a half units. And let's make it a thousand. And there we go again. So let me show you how I created this chart. First, I'm going to delete it. There's the question from the MBA student. Let me get rid of all this. I'm going to walk you all the way through this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a table of contents at the very beginning of this so you can follow along with it and then fast forward to wherever you want to get. So units sold, let's put in 50 units. Let's make the price 100. Revenue is going to be that times that, correct? Sounds good, perfect. Variable expenses. Variable expenses per unit will be 60 bucks. Your variable expenses are items such as direct material cost, shipping per unit, uh, commissions per unit. So that will be that times that. Contribution margin is your revenue minus your variable expenses. So 2000 And the contribution margin per unit is 40 bucks. Now, fixed expenses would be rent, taxes, insurance, executive salaries. Let's make that 1600 So therefore, 2000 minus that, we have a profit of 400 To find the break-even in units is simply equals your uh, fixed expenses divided by your contribution margin per unit. Let's test it. So if I change this to 40, my profit of 400 should drop to zero. And it does. If I make it 60, there we go. If I change our fixed expenses to 2,000, we now need to have 50 units to get to a break-even point. 50 units, profit zero. So it's working. So I'm going to leave these numbers right here. So now here we go making the chart. So once again, look for the table of contents. Let's start off with 20 units, 30. Highlight, autofill. Revenue is simply equals that. We'll make it a mixed reference times... The price, let's make that absolute. Look in the formula bar, there it is, pull it down. There's your revenue for those units. Your fixed cost is equals that. I should have made that absolute reference, so equals dollar sign C, dollar sign 11, pull that down. That works. Total expenses, E6 times your variable cost, I'm not done, 1200 And I'm going to add to that, tw yeah, 20 times 60 is 1200 And then I'm going to add to that the fixed expenses. And I need to make that absolute reference. Therefore, your profit is your revenue minus your total expenses. Correct? Someone say yes. Yes, it is. Good. Thank you. 
50 units, break even, perfect. Let's change it, let's test it, make it 40 units. I should be losing $400, 60 units, I'm making $400. So it's working now. Now let's build our chart. You're gonna highlight this data, insert tab. You wanna make this a line chart, there it is. First thing you need to fix is notice my units down here, one, two, three, four, I've got to fix that. Go to select data. Make sure you have units selected. Click over here on edit. And that needs to be, I'll do it again. We backspace through it, sorry. I need to keep that on the screen. That needs to be that range right there. It's changed down below, hit okay. Hit okay, click the line. I don't think I need the line, and I don't. So now here we go. Our fixed expenses, which is in gray, is $2,000. Let's make it $1,600. It changed. That's perfect. Revenue. Let's make revenue. This is all optional now. Let's make revenue green. Let's make total expenses a red font color. So 40 units right there is our break even point. We're losing money over here. We're making money over here. If we change our price to 105 bucks, it changed. Let's test it again. Let's make it 120. There we go. So it is definitely working. Let's make our Fixed expenses 2200 and you can see what fixed expenses does to your chart but this is once again it's working and the last thing you can do I thought about this if you want to show the profit just highlight it copy it y'all know this from my Excel 2 training right click and paste that's all you have to do there's your profit line right there I'm not going to do it, but I would take that legend probably. Here. I said I'm not going to do it, now I'm going to do it. And I'll put it at the top. And then make it a little bigger. Anyway, that is how you make a break-even analysis chart in Microsoft Excel. If you need Microsoft Excel training, please give me a call. And my Excel intermediate class is now available online. Thank you.